Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Burton Borders and today I'm joined by a special guest, um, EMB Football News, aka Elijah, my son, aka traitor, Arsenal supporter. <laughs> Say hi to the guys, Elijah. Hi. Right, so today we're going to just do a quick review of the football season. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking at who do we think is going to get relegated, what we think the top six is going to be, who we think... Um, it's going to win the League Cup, the FA Cup, the Champions League. Um, free, should we throw in the Europa League and Conference League as well, Elijah, do you think? Yeah, let's just do yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And then who do we, who we think the top goal scorer is going to be? And maybe throw in who we think is going to be the best signing of uh, for the season. Now, obviously, uh, not everyone's signed yet, but we could only go by those that we've seen so far. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. Welcome to the Burton Ballers. Ain't got no time for no stallers. Yeah. We are the risers. We're the performers. Our channel is growing wider and taller. Yeah. We're here to give you the news about your dear beloved blues. Yeah. So if you like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell. Yeah. Right, Elijah, relegation. Who's going to get relegated? Who's your three for relegation this season? Three, the three that's going to get relegated is the three that um, that's got promoted. Um, Norwich, Watford and Brentford. I, I don't really have much hope in <clears throat> Brentford. I'm not sure if they're um, Premier League level yet. Watford, um, this is not really a good team. And Norwich, I don't think they're ready yet either. Oh, okay, surprising. So, my three, I don't think Watford are strengthened enough for me, so I think Watford are going straight back down. Burnley have been riding their luck a lot in the Premier League, and they haven't strengthened at all, and their luck has to run out at some point. So, by Sean Dyche, by, by Burnley, you're gone. And for my third team, um, I believe, yeah, I think Norwich as well, although they got my boy Billy Gilmore playing for them. I just don't think they've got enough knock, in their locker. They bought a guy called Sargent, didn't they? American international striker. Puki didn't do too well after a great start when he was in the, the league last time. So, And they've lost their best creative player in Buendia to Aston Villa. So, yeah, I just don't think they've got enough in their locker to, to stay up. So those are my three for relegation. So, top six. In order, from sixth to, to top. So sixth would be Arsenal, fifth would be Leicester, um, fourth it would be um, fourth would be um, Liverpool, third would be Man United, second would be Chelsea, and first would be Messi. Okay, so mine is sixth place. I'm going to put in Leicester. In fifth place, I'm putting Arsenal. In fourth place, I'm putting Liverpool. In third, I'm putting Manchester United. Second, Chelsea top Man City. But that could change because if Manchester City do not buy Harry Kane, then I think I'll put Chelsea as number one and Man City at number two. So that leads me on to a surprise team. I'll go first, Elijah, because a lot of people will probably be laughing at me or falling off their chairs when they've noticed that I've put Arsenal as my um, as, as, um, fifth place. A lot of people don't think Arsenal are going to do well, but I think they're going to be do better than a lot of people think this season. A, because they, or a, the main reason I think they're, they're going to do a lot better is because they have not got European football. So Arteta is going to be able to implement his style um, every week. He's going to have a training session without any interruptions. That's before the League Cup and FA Cup comes in. So he'll be able to, um, to work with them on the training ground um, day in, day out. And plus... The, they'll be fresh for games, so they haven't got that. Uh, they haven't got that distraction. They've got a rest between games, and um, if they do get in, like there's a little talk about Tammy Abraham coming in as well. They've brought in Ben White. There's talk of Madison coming in, so they are trying to strengthen their squad. So I just think they may be surprise a few and finish fifth. So who's your surprise package? Uh, man, man will be West Ham because I think they'll they won't have 
as good as the season as they did before, but they'll, they'll still finish higher and I'll put them in. Yeah. Okay, and I, I, shout out to Brentford as well because I know that you, I noticed you putting them down for relegation, but I think they'll do better than most people think, and I think they'll actually finish just below mid table this uh, next season. They got a good side, they play some good football, and I think the style of football that they play is going to be good enough for the Premier League. Ivan Tony is a great goal scorer as well. Talking about goal scorers now, so who's going to win the Golden Boot for you? Um, the Golden Boot would be. Um probably hurricane again he like wins it almost all the time but well, not all the time like probably yeah. right i'm putting on my blue tinted glasses and i'm going for lukaku chelsea create so many chances and they just didn't have anyone to finish off those chances if they continue to create that amount of chances then i think lukaku is gonna win that golden boot right so other honors now so um league cup winners League Cup winners would be Manchester City. Again? For the... F oh, okay. Just the specialists of the time. Yeah, I know they put out a strong team in that all the time, but I don't think they're going to do it again another time. I'm going for... Hmm... Who should I go for? I'm going for... Let me think. Manchester United I'm going for this time. Yeah, Manchester United. Ollie's gonna get something, yeah. So FA Cup winners. Um, this might be surprising. But I think Arsenal. Arsenal. Now, because if they could do it with like a side, with, like you know, we have Ben White replacing um David Louise. We um like we have like Sabaris is gone, and if we could do it with Sabaris and all those players, we could do it with um um with this these lot of players because it's not really it's not really different from the season we won it, it yeah with, it's, with the FA Cup it's always going to be the luck of the draw isn't it but I'm, I'm going for I'm going for Chelsea you know they they've got to they went they've been beaten fine this in the last two seasons so I'm going third time lucky and, and Chelsea will get that trophy um, so um, Europa League let's do Conference League first Conference. if if Tottenham don't win that one, then the questions are going to be asked. Is, is that every, everyone else in there is just average, isn't there? Is it Roma? Are Roma in there? Yeah, I think Roma's going to win it. Actually, 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 you know, with with uh, with uh, Jose Mourinho in charge, I reckon yeah, Roma, because yeah, they always win something under Jose. Usually, win something over over wow. with Jose. Um, and the uh, it's a bit more difficult to predict the Europa League because you don't know who's going to go down, drop down from the other competition. So, for, but who do you think Europa League? Um. Should I go first? What are you thinking about it? Yeah, yeah, you go first. Um, I'm going for. AC Milan, they're going to drop down from the Champions League, I think, and they'll win the Europa League. That's my that's my pun. Well, without Lukaku, though, maybe Inter, I don't know. Because Lukaku is probably one of their main players. Yeah, Inter may drop down as well. Yeah, maybe Inter, yeah. Because remember, one season they didn't even make it through. That's right, that's right, yeah. Um, and Champions League? Champions League is going to be um, it's going to be PSG. Yes, if PSG don't win it with the players that they've got, questions have got to be asked. You know that team is built to win the Champions League, so I think it's now or never for PSG. If they don't win it next this season, then I, c I can't see them ever winning it. So yeah, I got to agree with you there, PSG for me. So that's it, guys. That's our prediction. So. Let us know what you think. Let us know um, who you think is going to get relegated, who you think is going to finish in the top six, who's going to finish top goal scorer, who's going to come away with the major honours this, this season. FA Cup, League Cup, um, Champions League, Conference League, uh, Europa League. Yeah, so stick your comments in the section below. And before I go, Elijah, tell tell us where we can find you, mate. Um, search up e &B Football News and I'll be right there. Okay, cheers. Thank you for... Uh, um, appearing on the show and I'll try and do one with um, my boy Zane um, and a bit later so there you go guys if you like this video please don't forget to hit that like button 
um, subscribe to the channel, turn on all post notifications to be notified every time I make a new video. Until then, guys, stay safe. See you later. And it's goodbye from me, and it's... Goodbye from me. Goodbye. Bye.